Welcome to Pathways to Success at PGCC. And now here's your host, Professor G. Welcome to Pathways to Success here at Prince George's Community College. I am Professor G. Mark Gray. Thanks for joining us today. You know, the Pathways program launched in 2018 to enhance the student experience and speed up their success. It's now easier for students to choose their uh, academic or career options here and to be confident that they've made the right choice. Pathways also give students a clear map to success in achieving their goals with tools to stay on track, saving time, and most of all, saving money. And joining us today here is a proud PGC graduate whose pathway has led him to become the chairman of the technology pathway here at the college. He is Dr. Muhammad Ali, arguably the greatest on campus. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you, Professor G. And also, we are joined today by Professor per Patricia Okori, the cybersecurity coordinator at the tech department here at PGCC. Thank you for joining us as well and keeping us safe. Thank you. It's, an, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, as a guy, Dr. Uh, Ali, who knows firsthand how the Pathways programs work, can you talk about how it's impacted your life? So as a student uh, of computer science, it really helped me to get all the skills necessary uh, in the IT field. Um, I started as a computer science student, like I said, and uh, uh, while doing that, I did a few certifications. Um, I became a tutor here, became a PC analyst, uh, you know, worked in the field as a web developer, systems programmer, data wise systems, uh, cloud application engineer for Illusion, then came back to teach uh, so I can also impact our students here. Uh, and now became the department chair. So I have uh, first hand experience, and it's my goal to make sure that our students get the best experience and, and, and the skills necessary in the 21st century. And how much did your experience, you know, as a tutor, as a quasi-educator, if you will, during your academic experience, help you to bridge that gap? Uh, so almost every skill that I acquired while working in the field, um, I was able to also implement it and, and talk about it when I taught all those courses, whether it's programming, whether it's cloud, uh, it had been something that uh, that really helped me make it easy as I deliver uh, sessions and or or classes that I have taught here at the college. Doctor, uh, excuse me, Professor Corey, I want to ask you as a cybersecurity professional here on campus, and we see a lot of kids that are playing video games and don't realize the STEM benefits of learning how to master what goes on behind the scenes with those games because that has become a pathway to professional opportunities and financial success. Can you talk about how, you know, the gap is being bridged here on campus through the STEM education programs that are helping these kids understand and most of all, go out as they like to do, as they say, try to secure the bag of significant, you know, financial uh, compensation upon graduation. Thank you for asking that question. As a matter of fact, that's what we try to do here at Prince George's Community College. We hold events uh, to use, try, attempt to use that opportunity to inform students how they can um, embark upon a career in cybersecurity. As everyone is aware, well, hopefully everyone is aware that this is a field that impacts all of us. The cyber criminals do not discriminate most of the time. If you are using that device, they're gonna find a way to you know, hack into it in some instances. So what we do is the, inform the students that this game you're playing, you do realize if it's connected to the web somehow or to the internet, it can be susceptible to an attack. And by you, coming in with us to train uh, to learn how to secure this device you're using, it can open up channels for you to earn you know, tremendously well in this field and at the same time help protect or defend these systems against attack. It often opens their minds or their eyes to ask additional questions and then um, that's all awesome. Th those present opportunities for us to invite the students to come in to see what we have in the cybersecurity field and technology in general. Are you seeing that students these days are really interested in this uh, field? And what are some of the things that you've noticed in terms of 
what is driving them to at least, you know, scratch the surface of a professional opportunity opportunity that is in um, cybersecurity? The money. <laughs> Oftentimes, the money. Uh, they come in steady. Oh, I heard they earn a lot of money in this field. I say, yeah, of course. Um, they, they, but it's not just the money. You have to develop interest in this field. And we can uh, help you obtain that goal, uh, embark on this field, and uh, achieve that goal of earning um, uh, well in this field. So that's often what drives some of them to the classroom. I, as somebody who is there, uh, in the classroom with the students, that's one of it. And some of it would also be the um, they're curious about something like ethical hacking. They hear things like that and say, oh, I want to learn how to defend systems against attacks. I want to learn how we can bust these cyber criminals. What, what do we do? So that's also a driving force behind those who come in. I know first is the earning potential in the field, and then that hands-on skill. And the uh, really interest in stopping the uh, threat actors from succeeding in attacking our systems. Dr. Ali, to the point about lucrative financial opportunities when you come right out of school. If you're a student, you may have some loans, you may have some personal things. You know, I don't think people really understand that in many respects, a pathway from gaming to cybersecurity professional becomes as lucrative as anything that's uh, in the job market these days. Uh, definitely, and it's a high demand. I mean, like Patricia talked about, you have to look at from the security perspective, but at the same time, you can learn about gaming as a developer. I mean, we have a lab here for gaming. We have just developed a course for gaming, which we hope to offer in the fall. Um, so they can actually take that route in, in uh, becoming a game developer, uh, get a... Uh, you know, a certificate, take the course, uh, be an expert in the field and make money because this is a high demand. In the five th next five to 10 years, we're expecting uh, gaming, machine learning, uh, AI, uh, data science, cloud to be the field to be in. And it, regardless of what path you take in the IT pathway, you will be able to take some of those courses as, as an elective. And <laughs> I, I wanna go a little bit off script here, but I've noticed that in a lot of major colleges these days, uh, these STEM programs, are also having uh, competition. You have varsity level competition and a lot of the kids that are on college scholarships. And I think that that's one way if you look to go to a four year institution from here that we haven't really scratched the surface on. But what do you know about the competitive gaming and, and, and its impact on you know professionals getting into STEM oriented jobs such as cybersecurity? Are you talking about in terms of gaming to competing? Yeah, I mean, you know, in terms of you uh, know, like at the <laughs> University of Maryland, they compete in the Big Ten in the conference. They have a extensive esports program. So the esports pathway to cybersecurity, does PGCC have an, a, a, I guess, a pathway in that regard yet? We don't have a gaming pathway, but we have a gaming course that we're developing. We do have a hackathon uh, uh, that uh, Patricia can talk about where there is a competition. Uh, but but not in the gaming field yet. Okay, so that's uh, when you were asking that question, I was stating <laughs> that yes, in the cybersecurity field, uh, this is a big thing right now. We currently have student organizations. One of them is the Hackerspace Club, and then we have the WCS Club as well. So with the Hackerspace Club, the goal is to train students to be able to compete in these cyber defense competitions. As a matter of fact, there's one of them coming up, which is the Mid-Atlantic Cyber Security, Collegiate Cyber Security, Cyber Defense uh, Competition. Uh, we've partnered with University of Maryland Global Campus. We have a coach coming up there to help with our students uh, to train them and prep them for these competitions. It's also a driving force behind some of our students. When we tell them about the ethical hacking field or organization um, or the hacker space club that we have at this college, they want to come in. They want to learn. The industry wants to know what you've learned, the hands-on aspect, your skills. It's not enough to be able to go through the um, program, which, by the way, we have the instructors who are certified to teach these courses. And they're great at uh, preparing our students for these cyber defense competitions. We have one coming up on December 6th, just for community college to compete against one another in these things, in cyber defense. And we are, you know, hard at work preparing our students for these things. So. 
We have such a diverse community of students uh, here at the college demographically. Uh, and, and I'm just wondering, for particularly the students of color, the pathway to um, STEM professionalism or cybersecurity uh, professionalism, um, how many uh, barriers are, are, is PGCC through the Pathways program able to help kids knock down in order for them to come out and, quote, secure the bag immediately upon graduation? So one way to do that is almost all these programs uh, or, or the associate degrees that we have do come with uh, certificates or industry certificates they can do while they're in school. Um, so these are ways to, uh, uh, for them to back, uh, as you say, the money. So as soon as they get their associate degree, assuming that they, got, they did one of the two certificates or even the industry certificates, whether it's CCNA, whether it's uh, Security Plus or Network Plus or Cloud Practitioner or uh, Solutions Architect, any of these, as soon as they get it, they will be able to get a job. Recently, we started uh, t two, two, three weeks ago, we sent an email to all the students basically asking them uh, what industry certificate they have done. And we were able to collect, and actually yesterday I was able to share it with some of the partners and our tech advisory board members to see if they will be able to find them a job uh, because we have these students that just got certified. Now, <coughs> I, I wanted to talk with you for a second, uh, Professor Corey, about um, the pathways and the planks and the pathways uh, program that you are helping uh, students find success with and pointing them in the direction as to uh, where they should go, how they can build themselves into a, per, uh, a person that stands out. So what do you think are the first steps that a person must do coming into this program in order to uh, chart their career path? Um, thank you for that question. For me, from the moment I set foot in this college, um, I developed this passion because of the diverse population we serve. We, we let them know that the, um, the number of open on, uh, on field positions in this field. So we're doing uh, all we can that's necessary to help this student not feel lost, but rather uh, embark on these STEM fields with much enthusiasm. Uh, it, it's certainly been a pleasure meeting and learning as much as we could about the technology pathway here at Prince George's Community College. Professor Patricia Corey, thank you so much for uh, your time today. Uh, Professor, oh, well, Dr. Ali, thank you so much for, you know, your vision because you stand as the person who represents success from PGCC to professional. And that's a heck of a pathway to follow. So thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Mark, for having us. All right, that's going to do Thank it you. here for Pathways to Success here at PGCC. I'm Professor G. Mark Gray, and we hope that you will follow your pathway to success here at PGCC. Thank you for watching Pathways to Success at PGCC. For more information about Pathways at the College, visit our website at www.pgcc.edu.